Good morning. It is Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. It is currently 6 10 a.m. in my locale. Current weather here at the end of the world is 77 degrees and mostly clear. It's supposed to be going up to about 80. Uh, Humidity is a little bit high. Uh, going outside at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5 30 to let Bodie out means you have to move quick because all the little tiny bugs come in, the no seams and the whatnot. So you got to move fast. So before we get into the rest of our stuff, I've got to mention a couple of names. So hopefully they're watching. First of all, everybody's leaving because our seasonal workers are going. So the first thing I'm going to say is, Joanna and Nathan, we miss you so much. Okay, you guys are so much fun and we miss you very much. Uh, we also had people that left yesterday. Uh, if you're watching Bobby and Sandy, we're going to miss you guys a lot. Okay, you were uh, phenomenal to work with. For those of you who are, you know, either tuning in now or just trying to catch up, I changed my job, okay? I went from being the houseboat supervisor, I am now the, what they call the retail manager. That means that I run the marina store. Okay, That has been a little bit grueling because I have no staff, okay? They're coming tomorrow, you know, and I always think about that old Star Trek reference. You left space dock without a tractor beam, it's being installed on Tuesday. Yeah, it's the same thing. I'll believe it when I see him. So I've been working some pretty long hours for a semi-retired guy. And I'm not complaining. Uh, learning a lot. You know, trying to get stuff done. It's a little overwhelming. But how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? That's right. That's easy. And the most important thing I can say about the entire issue is, you know, A, it's a lot of fun. I don't like being under artificial light all day. I'm still dealing with everybody because everybody has to come into that store. So we do have times that it gets really busy and then really quiet. Okay. So it's a, it's a, it's a step for me. Again, I'm going to have staff members. God forbid I'm somebody's boss again. You know, I was supposed to go golf. How did I end up here? It's, it, it's, um, you know, every time I try to get out, they drag me back in that type of thing, but it's going to be fine. I'm sure that this is, you know, this is on the plan. And we're going to do perfectly fine with it. And if I'm not having fun, then we'll do something else. I decided to leave going on the, on the houseboats because I was a one-man band and I was starting to wear out. So as much fun as it was, I was coming home and I was just exhausted. You know, all I could do is just, you know, get something cold to drink, let the dog out, let the dog in. And I had to sit down for 40 minutes because I was just whipped. So now I'm a little tired. However, uh, it, it's different. And, the, you know, my hours have changed. For a while, it was I was being at work at 6.30 for a week or so. And I was leaving at about 7.30. And in the middle of the day, somebody would have to come in and cover me so I could let Bodie pee. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to work at 7.30 and I'm getting out about 6.30. And I need about an hour in the middle of the day so I can go out and let Bodie go pee. So... Charging ahead, for those of you, again, who didn't catch up, that's where I've been. I've just been a little a little behind the schedule. Even the back of the Carry Ellen behind me, outside, is starting to look like a junk pile. And it's all because I simply don't have the effective time to take care of it. So once I have a day off, i got to go to town, ugh, and I've got to clean that up back there. It won't take long. It's just not having the time to do it. All right, so let's get into our daily Zen poem, and I'm going to let you guys know right now, right now, I don't like this poem. I really don't. It, I see its point. I don't like it. You may like it. That's fine. I don't like it. Ready? Let's do this. Those who seek liberation for themselves alone cannot become fully enlightened. Though it may be said that one who is not already liberated cannot liberate others, the very process of forgetting oneself to help others is itself liberating. Therefore, those who seek to benefit themselves alone actually harm themselves by doing so, while those who help others also help themselves by doing so. Muso Kurushi, 1275-1331 All I hear is my mother in the back of my head. Kiddo, if you don't help yourself, nobody else will. So between that wisdom and battle-tested life experience that I've seen over and over again, 
from my own teachers, I've got to say, hey, Muso, you know what? That doesn't work in my universe. I Hopefully it'll work in yours. Whatever works for you, works for you. Take Good author once said, take what is useful and leave the rest. So you have to make your own decision on how you're going to act when you get out there. Because when I have to get out there, I got to remember I'm dealing with people. And I'm a hermit. So you figure that out. And the answer is I was an adult educator for so many years. I know how to deal with people. Okay. And because I'm old, and because I came from a rural area, I know how to deal with unruly people. It's the same thing. Somebody's got some ish. I take care of it. It's not a big deal. Just get out of my face. Take your take your nonsense about three inches below my visible horizon. That's it. I'm not going to stop you. I'm also not going to help you. You're going to take your stuff three inches below, uh, uh, below my visible horizon. Or I'm going to take you there. And that's the end of that. You only get what you tolerate. You only get what you accept. If you say, ah, uh -uh, that bullshit ain't working here. And if you don't leave, I'll take you out. Trust me, they leave. They walk right away real quick. They call you a lot of names, but who cares? You know, who cares what something without a prefrontal cortex is actually thinking about you? Because they're not. So, let's go to our daily room book. I hear an airplane. Uncommon, because it's so quiet here. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. We pulled this room before. That is Kano. And we pulled that before. Okay. That is the rune of opening. So, let's see. Remember, you always have to ask a question. Open-ended question. Like, what do I need to know today? Or how can I help my mom? Or whatever happens. You have to ask that open-ended question before you pull a room. Sometimes you can pull a blank. You just, just don't think it. Just put your hand in, pull it out, and see how it applies to your situation at the moment. Okay. It's Again, we've pulled this rune before. It's the rune of opening and renewed clarity and dispelling the darkness been shrouding some part of your life. You're free to receive and know the joy of non-attached giving. Mm, I'm in resource conservation mode, not so much giving mode. I give my time and energy. They give me money. I'm okay with that. You know, and I do my darndest to earn that money. So it's not a wasted uh, product for them. Kano is the rune of the morning of activities in seriousness, clear intent, and concentration, all of which are essential for the beginning of the work. The protection offered by Kano is that the more light you have, the better you can see what is trivial and outmoded in your conditioning. As a minimalist and having a professional organizer certificate, I like that. I always like that. In relationships, there can now be a mutual opening up. You may serve as a trigger of the timekeeper Though your awareness that the light of understanding is once again available to you both. Well, since I'm going to hopefully get staff on Friday, that's a great message for me. That I have to be ready to be that trigger, be that timekeeper. In relations to the woman I love the most on the planet, I think that if I call her, I'm just going to go right to voicemail. If I'm not, if I even get there. I, I don't know. I hope she gets better soon. Recognize that while on the one hand you are limited and dependent, on the other you exist at the perfect center where the harmonious and beneficent forces of the universe emerge and radiate. You are that center. If you have been operating in the dark, there is now enough light to see that the patient on the table is you. Makes sense. Always, always move towards self-improvement. All right. Let's take a look. Are you awake? Are you awake, Mr. Sleepy Putt? Puppy face? The people want to see you. Come here. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> and now you're sleepy. Quiet moment of Bodhi. Do you know somebody else who used to do a snort? Yeah. Want to do another snort for us?
I think his big brother was here for a second. What do you think? All right, come on. I didn't mean to disturb you. Here you go. For a minute, <laughs> Queso has entered the room. Oh, I miss that little guy. All right, so what's today's plans? Well, I have to go to work, uh, open the store. Uh, oh, and a unique twist of events. Uh, we had a water problem yesterday. Uh, so, uh, the guy who manages the water system here ran out and fixed it. There was a cracked valve or something. But that also means there is a boil notice, again, because you have to do that. So, every time you open the line, you got to take the samples after it's done, and you got to do a boil notice. And that means for two or three days, I can serve no coffee at work, no, uh, uh, no fountain drinks. I can make hot food because I can use the water for washing, but I can't use the water for preparing any product. So that's going to make a lot of people unhappy, but hopefully the boil nose will lift today hope, or if not tomorrow, and we're going to be okay. I mean, it, it's always, it, the answer is always in the negative. The, however, it has to be done. It's a, it's some type of, I think, EPA law. Yeah, I think it's an EPA law. All right, so I've got some reporting to do, and I've got to tell you right now that the people around me are very, excuse me, very supportive because they know I'm trying to acclimate into a role very, very quickly. So all of them are kind of piled up because their success is built on mine and mine is built on theirs. And so we have a good mutual effect here. So I've got reporting to do. Uh, I had a little bit of help yesterday, lovely lady. And she was helping me, you know, stock coolers and things like that. I, I have some invoices I have to put into the system. Why I am putting them in the system, I just don't know. There's got to be a better way. And I was talking to another colleague, and we both agree. There has to be a better way for us to get a file and push it into the computer system and let the computer system pick all that crap up. It's got to be a way. I'm not the biggest fan of QuickBooks on the whole life. However, I know how to use it, and uh, that's okay. So, uh, what else are we doing? Um, it was raining the other day, so things got muddy and buggy. And it's been windy, so the fishermen that were coming in and out were either drenched or unhappy or a little of both. Some did great, some did poorly. It is the way that it is. But other than that, uh, that's it. I was actually able to eat the rest of my leftovers last night. He ate his stuff, so I actually have to cook tonight. And I do have to go to town. I'm starting to see the back of my freezer, and that makes me a little irritable. As if I wasn't irritable enough anyway. Okay, so let's say, hey, you take that Zen poem and do what you want to do with it. You take that rune and you apply it to yourself and see what's going on in your life and see how that is going to help you, how it's going to enlighten you, how it's going to help guide you to, to, to look at things. And other than that, let's see. I guess we've got to end it the right way, okay? If you don't take care of you, nobody else will. Thank you, Mom. Are they like-minded? Do they share your values? Do they have something to offer? Amardo, out you go. It's a little too late. And actually looking out into the wide world today, we're watching people have tantrums, and they are, they are so angry that they made a sign, or somebody is paying them because you probably wouldn't have a ragtag group of agitators or protesters that all have matching tents. Like they think we're dumb and we don't notice. Ladies, if you have to go out in public today, please carry some form of protection. What that means to you is what that means to you. And do not go out alone. You know, keep your heads out of your phone. Mind your children if they're with you. And don't go out alone. There are people out there that do not share your culture do not share your values, do not share your way of life, and should not even be here in the first place, and they want to hurt you. And even some of them that are here and supposed to be here want to hurt you. Gentlemen, I will say the exact same thing. Okay, Keep your trips short, brief, to the point, and stick to the necessities. Do not stick to luxuries, because it's about that time. Okay? It's time for you guys to do what everybody else that I listen to says. Circle the wagons, load load the equipment, 
and uh, you know wait for you know, wait for the troubles to pass. Okay, and uh, go go into a defensive strategy on the whole and an offensive strategy when necessary. Know the difference. So, you know, having said all of that, I hope you guys have a good Thursday. So from Bodie, myself, and uh, I guess a fairly clean house. I was actually able to sweep up yesterday from the end of the world. Have a great Thursday.